Hey guys, it's Jamie here. I have quite a cute little project today. I've made it into pockets, journaling cards, page decorations. Very easy to do, quite effective, a bit different, I think. Every single design is time stamped in the description so you can skip forward to the designs that you haven't seen. I'm going to use one of my thrift shop purchases from today for part of this project. I had already got some other bits together, but I wanted to demonstrate how you can either use printables or something that you've picked up. I said when I picked this one up, I picked it up because there were a lot of pictures and I am looking for a picture with at least two people in it and a photograph. And I want the two people close to each other. This picture has three children in it. They are all close to each other. So that is a suitable picture for this project. What I want to do initially is take one person from this photograph. Just want to check that how they're overlapping. I'm going to take the larger boy here on the left. And what I'm going to do rather cruelly is cut straight through him. Take my scissors, cut him out of the photo as carefully as I can. I'm going to take a black ink pad and a small sponge and where I've cut try very gently to black out any white core showing through. Do it that way and then turn it over and then on this side go in so you know you're hitting the edge of that cut area. Try not to lift it, just go into the edge. And that has taken out all the white cord that would have shown. In my scrap box, I have some very old book page. Initially, I'm going to roughly cut down this box and make sure as much as I can that my figure is glued to the tightest piece of text. I think we had the majority of text around there. You can just glue that down. That is now a picture that we can use as a pocket, a cluster, a page decoration. I'm going to keep this one simple. Could do a very plain background, like a craft background. It's kicking up at that end, but one way to hopefully solve that will be to round some corners. I think that helps a little. With this one, I cut the woman out and I still have some of this background that was done in a very recent video. And I think that's really effective against that photo. So I'm going to cut this out, keeping that white border, so I will cut this much smaller, but so she definitely gets covered. I think I would like to do a cluster of some sort using this, which I think is a Latin dictionary as part of the background, and then some scraps from the scrap box. Take off any white borders. This would be a very large page decoration, or you could then back it all and make it into a pocket. Quite like this one, because it's very grungy. I don't know that I want to do that paper though. I think I want to stick with dyed papers and dictionary pages. It's more or less where we're going with that. I will glue these down. We'll do a bit of extra tearing and inking, and that would be a page decoration. I like how that one turned out. That will be going in the stash box for a future junk journal. We therefore have two so far. Both very similar, both quite grungy. This one I thought might try using some greaseproof paper and just for a different look. And I may or may not, I may just back this as a journaling card, so with some coffee stain paper or some card. That one has now been backed with some of that spare coffee stained paper that's slightly too dark. Yeah, I'm liking these. I like these tones and these colours. I have two more. One where I've cut the boy completely out. And I'm wondering if I can use a digital on this one. 
or whether it's going to be so similar. I need something plain. I think plain's better. We've made it a corner pocket. I need to add some hinging on the back so that when it goes on a journal page, it won't lie too flat against it. I'm also going to edge it so you can see where that pocket goes. I will simply use pieces of paper, hinged, glue one onto this, and then when it goes onto a journal page, you glue that one on, another one on here, and I'll probably leave that one so it's like a big pocket, pocket or a tuck spot. So as you can see, if that was to glue onto your journal page, that gives you quite a distance for it to sit up away from the page. For this very last one, keeping it simple with a printable of adverts, something a bit bolder. And I wanted to get some of that lettering and some of that design in. Let's quickly run through these. This I will keep as a journaling card. This one is a corner pocket tuck spot. This I will probably just use as a page decoration. This one is another journaling card and this one a page decoration. I'm hoping you can see that you, this is quite versatile and that you can think of other ways and other uses for them. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this playing with photographs idea in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's a free way to support all the videos I put up virtually every day. <laughs> And I will see you next time.